while in quarantine, we all want to do some cool projects. And one of the best emulators are these old Dell HP computers that are just hanging around. A lot of schools just give these away. You can find them at a thrift store for $10, $20. They'll have great processors in them. It's just they have small power supplies and bad graphics card. The one I have here is a 3.2 gigahertz i5 with no dedicated graphics card. I want to share with you what graphics card I chose and which ones you might want to choose to go with this small power supply without upgrading it. So we'll talk about that at first. Then I'm going to install CoinOps. I'm going to go ahead and try two things in this video, one on the internal hard drive and one on an external USB 3.0 hard drive, which makes data a lot cheaper. Um, and then uh, we'll see some, um, see how much emulation you could do. But just right off the bat, this is a definitely solid way to go to build really great emulation machines on the cheap. <laughs> I want to do a quick overview that this computer comes stock with the Intel HD graphics, the onboard graphics card. I do have the cheaper DDR4 version of the GT1030, and I wish I did have the DDR5 version. There's two versions. At the time, though, I got this for $60 versus these were going for $100. So I wanted to go cheap. But you could see that the DDR5 is significantly better. But you can also see that the DDR4 is significantly better than the stock GPU. You're going from a 400 megahertz clock speed to almost 1200. You're going to a 10 increase higher boost clock speed. You're going to way more high, better pipelines, everything, right? It's just a better dedicated graphics card. Between the 1030 DDR4, this is the cheaper one. This is the better one. Um, DDR4 RAM, which is like a, it's a system memory. It's not even really a, a GPU memory. It's, they really just wanted to build a cheap graphics card at the time. And they're still gonna go way underneath the power consumption. Um, this is where though, um, you could go, you might say, well, why stop there? Why not get a GTX 1050? And remember with all these cases, you need to get the low profile version. And here's what I wanted to point out between the GT 1030 and the GTX 1050. Obviously the, the 1050 is better, but it's the power consumption. And again, I'm running a 230 watt power supply. I've heard people get lucky, but you know, look, I'm already pushing it with the GT 1030. You're supposed to have a 3300. I mean, according to their specs, now, obviously they're a little conservative. But once you get to the 75 watts, you know, like I said, some people say you get lucky, but you're probably gonna wanna upgrade your power supply at that point, um, just because it's, it's a much more demanding card. And remember, you're, you know, 300 watts is the max rated on your power supplies. You know, you gotta think about how much they're actually giving out. And then uh, your CPU is right shy of 100 watts typically. So, you know, you're, this would be pushing 175 without any other things. So just keep that in mind as far as the power consumption. But absolutely, if you want to go all the way up to a 1050, you can. And that would definitely be baller. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alita. Get ready for the next night. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Round one, fight. <laughs> So for this part, we're going to go ahead and see the difference between putting it on your internal hard drive and the external hard drive. I didn't see a really big difference and it wasn't very noticeable. So in conclusion, I have to say, check out my old videos. I took the same exact computer and did a similar setup on the SSD, and I noticed a performance increase on the SSD when I used LaunchBox. I'm not sure if that just uses a lot more power, but with CoinOps, I didn't see a huge difference from using an SSD versus the USB 3.0 hard drive. Now look at my computer stats. Like I mentioned, there's HP. It doesn't matter what brand you buy, um, but you do want to make sure that another thing I didn't mention is that there's enough room for a dedicated graphics card and there's an extra port and everything else. But other than that, a lot of these have the upgrade potential. You just have to go ahead and look around and find one and just check them out before you commit to the buy. A lot of times you can just unscrew the case. But for the record, I would go CoinOps over LaunchBox and I would definitely get a dedicated graphics card. Go with the DDR5 version of the GT1030. It's well under $100, like around $90 out the door and it's gonna play all these games great. You're definitely gonna hit some limitations when you get into um, like citrus emulators and things like that, but everything I showed ran really great and a lot on max settings full screen. So really great stuff. Anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.